The Logitech G402 has been in the market since August 2014, which is about 6 years now and I've been using it since 1 year and these are my thoughts. Let's start with the uses of the mouse first of all. The G402 has a fusion engine hybrid sensor with a 1 millisecond response time. One of the most overlooked features of this mouse is that it has no inbuilt pointer acceleration giving you a much more precise control over its movements. Coming to the software, personally, I use Logitech G-Hub instead of Logitech Gaming software and many people complain about the G-Hub but I haven't had any sort of issues with it yet. The software has a clean UI with easy to learn controls. All your Logitech peripherals show up on the home screen from where you can go on to customize the settings for any of them. For the mouse, there are three main settings, the lights, the buttons and the sensitivity. It also has a feature where you can cycle among various profiles for the same app using an assigned button. The G-Shift key acts as a temporary profile switcher so you'll essentially have to press the button you assign the G-Shift key to, for example this one, along with any other button that you want to execute a keystroke with. I think it's a very cool feature which I use because it technically doubles the amount of programmable buttons that your mouse has. If you are using G-Hub, here's a tip that will come in handy if you are frequently changing devices or if you clean install windows or for some reason there's some problem with the G-Hub software and you might have to reinstall it. Once you have all the profiles for various software set up, go to your C drive to this specific path. You might have to enable displaying the hidden folders and you'll find the settings.json file over here. Copy it and place it somewhere you won't lose like in Google Drive. Another feature that the G-Hub provides is their profile store. Here you can download various profiles that different users have put up for all kinds of games and if you like you can upload your own profiles for others to be able to download. These profiles can be uploaded privately or publicly and if they are private you can download them for yourself while if they are public people can download those profiles for their own games. Coming to the build of the mouse, it has a 2.1 meter long cable which is more than enough. It isn't braided but the quality is solid and I haven't seen any kinks develop over time. The ergonomics of this mouse are pretty comfortable especially because of the long body where your hand can stay easily. Some would say that the sensor on this mouse is too old but from my perspective there aren't many people who can differentiate between different sensors if they were put in the same mice. Logitech is one of the most trusted companies when it comes to peripherals and this device has a 2 year warranty. The mouse that I got on order developed an issue with the right click which was solved when I called their support and they told me to go to their walk-in center which I did and they replaced the whole device in 5 minutes with a brand new mouse. This is the reason why it makes the risk of spending 2000 rupees worth it because you know you are covered when something goes wrong. There are many mice out there which are lighter, more expensive and have lots of gimmicks but many of them have fewer customizable buttons than the G402 which I personally wouldn't prefer. If you wanted to go with the G502 which is a much better and expensive version of this mouse but if you aren't sure about it, this is a good way to get an idea of what your experience might be like without emptying your savings. If you are a weight freak who loves ultralight mice then I'm not sure if you'd go for this because it weighs 108 grams without the cable which is not customizable unlike the G502. I have used this for FPS gaming and I've had a great time with it. All the extra buttons help you ease out the process of switching weapons or you might as well create macros which is cool. If you're not a heavy gamer and you do content creation using softwares like DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Blender then you'll have a lot of advantage because of the extra buttons that this mouse has. You'll be able to speed up your workflow as you can assign various macros to the buttons on this device. The final verdict is that even after 6 years, 
G402 is still one of the best budget gaming mouse for FPS games without any quality compromises when compared to the G502. If you've been thinking about buying one, go for it because you definitely won't regret it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any queries specifically related to this mouse then you can ask me in the comment sections below and I'll be happy to help. Until next time, be kind to one another.